Hi friends, I'm Pastor Joel Gertner, the National Director of Jesus Cares Ministry. We're excited to give you yet another resource for our friends with special needs to learn more about their Savior Jesus and grow in their faith. We're happy to provide you these videos of the live stream of our simplified worship service, Worship of the Cross. We pray that you would find them beneficial. In case you don't know, Jesus Cares Ministries is one of the ministries of the Lutheran Home Association. You can learn more about Jesus Cares Ministries by going to our website, tlha.org, and clicking on the Jesus Cares Ministries tab, or you can visit our Jesus Cares Ministries Facebook. Welcome, everybody to worship at the cross. So good to have all of you here, and so good to have those of you watching online through Jesus Cares Ministries. We are at St. Mark Ministries, and my name is Michael. I'm the staff minister here, and we get to team up with Jesus Cares Ministries and put the service online for those of you watching. What a day to celebrate that we can give you the service online, and for those of you here welcome. So worship at the cross is an opportunity to look at the cross where Jesus died for my sins and where he died for your sins. This is a service that you get to participate in. You can ask questions. You can help me with different things. And most of all, you can give praise to God in song, which we're going to do here in a little bit. We have shakers, and if you're watching at home, I know some of you have made your own shakers. and You can do that simply by taking a, an empty water bottle, make sure it's dried out first, and then you can put some beans, dried beans in it, or something else maybe that makes a little sound, and it's a, an easy way for you to make your own shaker. Some of you here have maracas, and so you can certainly order those online if you would like to use those at your home. We'll grab those shakers in a minute, but what I want to also remind you, especially if this is your first time here or watching online, that I'm going to pray for you in a little bit after our message. And so if you're watching online, give us those prayers of someone that we can pray for. Maybe it's you, maybe it's somebody else. Uh, what I also like, though, is not just asking God for help, but giving thanks to God for something. So maybe we prayed for something in the past, and now you say, this is how God answered my prayer. And so we want to give thanks to God for those things. And so let us know online where you are worshiping, if you would like. But most of all, put in the chat where or how I can pray for you. And I will ask those of you here in person as well, what can I pray for for all of you? Mr. Tim is here tonight. And we're going to start our first song. Go ahead and grab your shaker, and we'll begin our worship service. We use those shakers to give praise to God. If you want to sing, if you want to walk around, if you're watching at home and you want to clap, uh, walk around as well, worship and praise God how you feel comfortable. Let's sing our first song. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody watching. In his hands, he's got everybody watching. In his hands, he's got everybody watching. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's 
got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Thank you, Mr. Tim, for starting our worship and song. If you're here or watching online, let's take our shakers. We're just going to rest them in the seat next to you or maybe on the floor. If you can keep them in your lap, that's certainly fine. We just don't want them to uh, distract us or the people around us. We'll pick them up again soon because we have another song that we get to sing. Well, let's begin our worship service. And you see in front of you, there's a few things that we focus on throughout that service, and in that circle or what you see on your computer screen or TV at home, or maybe it's a tablet you're watching, are those three things. We have a candle, we have a cross, and we have a bell. So we're going to start with the cross. We worship at that cross because on the cross is where Jesus has died for our sins. Maybe you have a cross at home. Those of you here at church, you see the cross up front, and then those of you watching, you have that cross on your screen. That's the reason we worship here. We also will light a candle, and we light the candle to remind us that Jesus is always with us. Go ahead, Seth. If you want to light that candle, Jesus is always with us. And so even though that candle gets put out at the end of the service, doesn't mean that Jesus isn't here anymore. He's still with us. It just means that we had to put the candle out to be safe here at, at church. You need a hand, Seth? Why don't we do this? I'll press this. There you go. You're going to grab it. And we'll light the candle. And that reminds us Jesus is always with us. Thank you, Seth. Well done. I have Nathan here tonight. Nathan, you want to ring the bell for us? There you go. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll leave your shaker here, but I'll take the bell back. <laughs> You can keep your shaker, though, for the next song. Here you go, sir. I don't want you to have, I want you to have that for the next one. Thank you for your help, everyone. We ring the bell to remind us that this is the time that we get to listen to God's word. We get to sing to him in song as we just did, and we have another song again soon. We also get to pray to him together. So we have the candle, we have the cross, and we have the bell. We worship God, he is the Father, he is the Son, and he is the Holy Spirit. Together, let's all say amen. Amen. It's hard for us to understand Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons, one God, but I have some pictures there. You see the clouds and the rays of sun. Sometimes when we meet here, this time of year is a little bit darker, but in the summer, we sometimes see that outside where the, the sun is going down and you see the rays of sun coming through. So we don't know what God looks like, but a picture of the heavens, the clouds, the sun is the best thing we can do. We have Jesus, God's son, and then the dove in the form of the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I'm going to say a prayer. Join me if you'd like or just listen. Dear Heavenly Father, Come and be with us today. Bless our worship. Give us understanding as we listen to your word. Give us joy as we sing to your glory. And give us peace as we bring our prayers to you. We ask this in Jesus' name. And together, let's all say amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. We get to talk to God and ask him for some things. And I know some of you watching at home, you will often do this. When we, when we talk to God, you can actually go on your knees at a couch or a bedside or a chair. You don't have to, but sometimes it's good for us to do that. So if you wanted to do that at home or, or here, you certainly can. But it's good for us to talk to God every day, not just when we're here at church, but every day, and to say, God, um, I need you. I need your help. Now, if a person has done something really bad, let's say they've done something where they have to go to jail. You see that person holding on to the, the bars, and they're in jail. Can, can they go to God and ask for forgiveness? They sure can, yeah. They will still have that consequence of staying in jail for a certain amount of time, but 
God certainly forgives that sin. Sometimes we think, though, that the little tiny things that really don't seem that big uh, are that big of a deal. Like the next picture, you have my, my boys there, and they're, they're arguing over the remote control. Well, that doesn't seem that big of a deal, does it? Should I go to God and ask him for forgiveness because I had the remote control in my hand? Well, what you don't see here is that I told them no TV while I'm gone. I said no TV while I'm gone. This is what you need to do. And not only did they break that rule, but now they're arguing over who gets to watch what channel. And so even the little things that we do that you can think of here, or maybe those of you watching online, the little things that don't seem that bad, God still wants us to talk to him. So let's do that today. And we say, I say it to you, dear children of God, God's holy. God doesn't sin. God's holy, he doesn't want us to sin. But we are sinners, and we do what God tells us not to do, and then we also sometimes fail to do the things God says that we should do. So today, let's tell God that we have sinned with just those words, God, I have sinned. Say that with me. God, I have sinned. Let's tell God that we are sorry. With just those simple words, God, I am sorry. Say that with me. God, I am sorry. Here's the best part. The best part is Jesus died on the cross instead of you and me. And Jesus' death paid for your sins. And so you can be certain that these words are true when you say, Jesus died for me. Say that with me. Jesus died for me. Through faith in Jesus, God has forgiven all of your sins. He forgives all of your sins. And so now let's tell the good news in this way by saying, God forgives me. Say that with me. God forgives me. And you can share that with other people as well. Look what that guy did. He went from being on his knees talking to God, to what? Yeah, he jumps up, his hands are up. He's celebrating, he's happy. What are some things that you celebrate? A touchdown, a home run, a surprise party. Someone gives you a gift, you put your hands up and you're excited. We have our sins washed away and so we want to respond the same way. And so we say, thank you, God, for taking away my sins. Say that with me. Thank you, God, for taking away my sins. Join me in the prayer if you'd like. If you're watching at home, you can say the prayer as well or just listen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Now we know that we have forgiveness for all of our sins. Now we know that we are your people, and now we know that we will live with you in heaven one day. Together, let's all say amen. Amen. How amazing to have our sins washed away and forgiven. Today, I want to share with you a passage. If you are at home and want to look that up in your own Bible, it's, it will be on the screen too in a little bit if you want. But otherwise, we're going to look at the book of 2 Corinthians. That's in the New Testament. It's going to be chapter 3. And it's going to be starting with verse 16 and 17. I want to give you something first, though, so that you kind of have an understanding as we dig into God's word. What do you, what do you see here that I brought with me today? What does this look like? A chain. Yeah, this is a chain. And it's got some pretty strong clasps here. This chain is actually has like a coating, a yellow coating of rubber. Sometimes chains don't even have this. It's just all these links. Is this rubber over the top, does it mean it's plastic underneath? It belongs to a swing. It could belong to a swing. You're right, Emma. You're right. It does, there are plastic chains, but this one is actually metal. Okay? If I, I wish I could be a superhero, but I'm not. Do you think I can break this? Not really. not really. What if I put this part 
to this one, and then I pull really hard. Do you think I can break it? No. What about if I invite Seth up here to help me? Do you think Seth and I could pull it apart? <laughs> Seth is laughing. He's saying, Nathan, what do you think? Do you think we could break this apart? Yeah, I like your optimism. Yeah, this, uh, this chain is made of some strong metal, and I don't think that we're going to be able to break it. It's going to take a lot to break this. Now, this might be a chain that isn't strong enough if I would hook it up, say, to a really big truck and a tractor. This probably isn't strong enough. There's some chains that are really big for that. But chains are used to keep things in place. Chains are used to keep something in, uh, from not moving. I need this to stay here. I don't want somebody to steal it. I don't want someone to take it. I don't want it to go anywhere. And so if I can't move because this chain is holding me, do I have freedom? Do you know what freedom is? Freedom is a, is a strong word, isn't it? You have freedom, Seth? Oh, freedom with God's love. You have freedom with God's love, yeah. We'd, well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Thank you, Seth. Absolutely, we have freedom with God's love. Um, the reason we're talking about some freedom this month, in the whole month of November, and we're going to talk about freedom tonight, and we're going to talk about giving thanks here in a couple of weeks because we have Thanksgiving coming up, but this week is also Veterans Day. And so it's good to give thanks for the freedoms that we have because of people that served our country. And so I, I'm going to say this because my, I know my wife sometimes says that I have different clothes for different holidays, a different shirt for Christmas. But this is, my, this is my 4th of July and my Veterans Day, my red, white, and blue shirt. And so this is my way of saying I'm thankful for, for freedoms that I have. Uh, we live in a town, a town that's close to another town called Freedom. And I always thought it'd be really cool to live in the town of freedom because I, I like that word. But when we don't have freedom, things change, don't they? It seems a lot different. I want to share what the Apostle Paul, Paul was a missionary. He was a, a pastor at, after Jesus' time, and he wrote to one of his churches in Corinth. And then that why, that's why this book is called Corinthians. They were not the Americans, but the people who lived in Corinth, so they were Corinthians. And so he wrote and said to them, but when anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Holy Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, freedom is also there. So that veil that's being talked about goes back to Moses' time. Moses was at the beginning of the Bible, okay? literally in the beginning of the Bible, but not literally at the beginning of time. It was a little bit later than that. But Moses actually saw God. He went up onto a mountain and he saw God. And because he saw God, when he came back down, all the Israelites saw him and Moses' face glowed so bright that he had to put a veil over the top so that the people weren't afraid. They weren't afraid because of that veil. But now because of what Jesus has done for us, the freedom that we have, that veil is taken away. And so we can talk to God. And so while we're here on this earth, because of what Jesus has done for us, the chain that once kept us in one place and kept us from being able to talk to Jesus, the chain is gone. We don't have that chain anymore. And so now Nathan, you can talk to Jesus. Seth, you can talk to Jesus. Maria, we can talk to Jesus. And those of you watching online, you have the freedom to talk to Jesus. You have the freedom to ask God for help. You have the freedom to share God's love with other people. And most of all, you have the freedom to serve God in many ways. Back in Moses' time, people had to follow certain laws. And Jesus has kept all of those laws. And he was perfect in our place. And so today, let's celebrate that we don't have that chain holding us anymore. And we can give thanks 
to God for the freedom he gives us in Jesus. Okay? Amen. Thank you for being part of that. We're going to have a song, but I would also encourage you, if you'd like, there is a, an offering up here, and so if you brought something tonight and wanted to share, you can certainly do that during the song. You don't have to if you didn't bring anything, and you can bring that next time if you'd like. That's our way of giving back to God, and so God has given us gifts and blessings, and so when you think of the times that you give somebody a gift at Christmas or a birthday, what's their reaction? It's amazing, isn't it? You love giving those gifts, and so we want to give back the way God has blessed us. And if you're watching online, you'll see ways to give back to the National Jesus Cares Ministry office, to your own church. I hope you are able to do that, and maybe it's to your own Jesus Cares Ministries. Let's grab our shakers, and I'll take your prayers in a little bit, but let's sing our next song. I invite you to shake those shakers and join us as we sing. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He has washed away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He will stay close beside me all the way. You have bled and died for me. I will ever live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thanks, Mr. Tim, for closing our service in song. And thank you for those of you who shared some things uh, as a prayer re request online. And I want to take those prayers here from you as well. So Mariah uh, is watching online. Mariah is very faithful and watches all the time. And she has been seizure-free now for a year. And so I say, yes, let's give thanks to God for that. We give thanks. And Mariah, that is so good to hear. Thank you for sharing that news with us. And so we will give thanks to God for that and pray that he continues to keep you seizure-free. So thank you for watching and for letting us know. What can I pray about for any of you here? Maria? You get to go to Minnesota this week. Very cool. And you also had a trip to Texas, so that's pretty cool. So you get to be traveling Maria these days. How cool. I'm glad you get to do that. Let's talk to God and give him thanks for that. Dear God, thank you for Maria who is here and that she is able to go to Minnesota Thank you for bringing her back safe from Texas, and I pray that you bless and keep her on this trip. Amen. Thanks, Maria. Anyone else? Yes, Seth? Is there any 
you have a new girlfriend, Seth. Okay, well, let's give thanks to God that you have a new girlfriend, and I hope that you, maybe you bring her to worship at the cross sometime. How does that sound? All right, let's give thanks to God for that. Dear God, thank you for Seth who is here, and he wants to give you thanks for his new girlfriend that he has. And so I pray, Lord, that you bless and keep them both, and maybe we get to see his girlfriend here at worship at the cross sometime. Amen. Thank you, Seth. It's exciting news. Anything else to share? Yeah, Emma, go ahead. Let's pray for your grandma. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for letting me know, Emma. Let's talk to God and ask. Dear God, thank you for Emma who is here. And her grandma isn't feeling too well. And so if it be your will, I pray that you help her health to improve. Not just so that she feels better, but so that she can go about her day and serve you in the many ways that she does. Thank you, God, for blessing Mariah with a year of being seizure-free. I pray that you bless and keep Mariah, keep those seizures away, and I hope, Lord, that that doesn't happen anymore. Thank you for Nathan, who is here tonight for the first time, and you have blessed us with him, and so I pray that you keep him in your care and bless him as well. And also for our veterans here in our church and for our veterans in the churches maybe that other people are part of, but most of all, this whole nation. Thank you for our veterans who have served our country and have given their, their time and many of them their life in, in our defense so that we have freedoms. Freedoms like we talked about tonight to worship God. And so we give you thanks for those people. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, amen. We'll close our service with the Lord's Prayer. And we say that a little bit slower. Maybe you've said the Lord's Prayer countless times and you've lost track. But maybe you are still learning it. And so what we do is kind of just focus on each part. So if you're watching at home or if you're watching here tonight, I'll say the first line and then I'll say it again and you can repeat it with me, okay? Let's close our service with the Lord's Prayer as we say, Our Father in Heaven. Say that with me. Our Father in Heaven. We say, Hallowed be your name. Join me. Hallowed be your name. We want God's name to be kept holy in all places. Your kingdom come. Say that together. Your kingdom come. We want God's word to go to all people. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Say that with me. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Join me. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Say that with me. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Say that with me. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power. Join me. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Say that with me. And the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, may the grace that God has for you and me, I pray that the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and his blessing will be with you, not just today as you join me in church, but in the days to come. May God bless you and may he keep you in his care. Thank you for being part of Worship at the Cross here. Thank you for watching online. Thank you for watching this video of our Worship at the Cross service. You can support the ongoing work of Jesus Cares Ministries by going to tlha.org slash donate. Your gifts enable us to not only produce videos like this and share the gospel of Jesus with many more with special needs, 
It also allows us to continue to reach out to those with special needs all across the United States as well as in Malawi, Africa. Thank you again for joining us.